Long before Tropical Storm Ermine, before the city of Austin owned Bull Creek District Park, decades before the small park in a bend of the creek became a haven for off-leash dogs, before no swimming signs cropped up here and there, there was Lakewood Park. Morris and Daryl Moore, whose home movies from the 1960s you see here, bought what had already been a popular rural getaway in 1959, moving their nine kids to the property north of RM2222. Their plan was to turn it into an Austin favorite, with ball fields on the flat area east of the creek and dances, horseback riding and hay rides, and of course, swimming. Lonnie Moore, the middle child among those nine kids, is now 60 and in Austin real estate. He calls the Lakewood Park of his childhood a paradise. Back then, before Loop 360 came along and the subdivisions sprang up in the Bull Creek Valley, and before the city of Austin, believe it or not, built a sewer line directly under Bull Creek, the park's waterfall and swimming hole had impossibly clean and deep water. The family of 11 lived in the combination concession stand and home on the south bank of the creek that you see here. The Moore kids, when they weren't in school, had the run of the creek, playing in the Horseshoe Falls that in earlier days had been the site of baptisms by early Travis County settlers. Those huge boulders in the bend of the creek, the kids spent the warm months of the year diving from them and the nearby cliff and even named them Piano Rock. Snakehead, Tabletop. Morris Moore poured a lot of money and a lot of concrete into the site, building a five-foot-wide dam that assured a deep swimming hole, shoring up the walls, and building a huge patio for dances. But floods of the sort that last September devastated the city park, if smaller, were a constant struggle. The Moores in 1967 sold the park to a private trust which then sold it to the city of Austin in the early 1970s. The waterfall, thanks to Ermine, is now gone, and the creek is a rock field. That gravel extends so far downstream that Piano Rock, shown here, is now essentially beached on the gravel.